looking back at the world from another level, you know what I mean? <laughs> Still. Multiple gunshots lit a block, the fun stops. Niggas was calling cops, people shot, nobody stopped. I wonder when the world stopped. Karen, last night you get shot. Why the whole block staring? I will never understand this society. But they try to murder me, then they lie to me. Brought a cup of John Bree. Oh, my homie John Bree. Now the little baby's crazy, raised no fantasy. Tell me when my enemies flee when they see me. Believe me, if it does, gotta learn to take it easy. Listen, through the intimacy, search your heart for a plan. Turn it back with the wrong man. It's on again. I give a holler to my niggas in the darkest corners. Roll a perfect blunt and let me spark it for you. One love from a dog, nigga. Roll away the posse full of paranoid drug dealers. To the end, my friends, I'm seeing nothing but my dreams coming true. While I'm staring at the world through my rear view. See, I'm seeing nothing but my dreams coming true. While I'm staring at the world through my rear view. They got me staring at the world. said that a time comes when silence is betrayal. Our building attempts to address the need for a useful space in which the civil rights movement and its ideas are brought to the useful in um, gathering people together to help promote the dialogue. Our large story of visitors are encouraged to leave the main uh, forum space and uh, descend to the underground spaces where there is a continuous dark ramp uh, corridor that is constantly broken by skylighted spaces uh, that's tied back to the idea of breaking silence. Uh, contrasting the idea of black, uh, of dark with light. So uh, as they keep going down this ramp, they're gonna find themselves in, in space. Uh, yeah, as you can see also in the PowerPoint, you're going to find spaces where prehistorical um, events before the Shipwreck Movement is introduced, all the way down to what we call the Hall of Remembrance. Now, the Hall of Remembrance offers another space for people to discuss, to reflect upon. Uh, and uh, the, the, one of the key features of this space is that it uh, has an inverted holocom that allows people to have a discussion while it rains. And uh, from this space, you can go around where there, there is a space for more display, projection space. And from there, you can choose to go to, what we, to, what, uh, to our uh, archive rooms where um, people can keep studying in a more um, intellectual uh, way the similar movement or to what we call the main center. It's the date of uh, the Brown versus Board of Education case, an important case that is often associated with Walking down this corridor, the air space expands into, uh, 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 into the Hall of Names, which is a quiet space dedicated to key figures. That roughly represents the breaking of silence through the uh, production of sound, but it, uh, but it also has more practical use. Um, for instance, uh, the pool in which the, uh, the waterfall drains into actually help stabilize the temperature inside the building and helping to drastically reduce um, the energy consumption. It's important to discuss the dichotomy between the past and the history that happened and the present reality. And this building is constantly um, creating a dichotomy between the two different types. You're constantly being confronted on all sides with the past and the history and the current experience of today, whether that's the discourse or what you see. Um, Prior, sorry, regardless of um, any type of day experience, well, the visitors that come to this building are going to have the same experience. And it's a space in which they're allowed to interact about that experience and that information that creates what's really important. Um, and our theme is breaking the silence. And through that discourse and through those spaces, we're trying to break the silence. Thank you. The expressions of my colleagues here is a fantastic piece of work you've done here. Uh, you have a concept and you have curated. Uh, I like very much this last slide that you show there, which is the way that you actually did take advantage of the fact that there is the 
Capitol and the Supreme Court, right across from the building. So it's not like, oh, it faces the Capitol. But we're using that. We know it's there. So let's exploit that. And you have done that very well. There's a, a great deal of thought and, and finesse, as was said earlier, at so many different scales here. Um, it was really helpful to see the level of thought that you uh, gave to the character of these interior spaces um, that really put me inside of the project. And I, I would echo what was said earlier about it. In, in some ways, there's, it's so rich, it's unfortunate that it, so much of it is invisible underground. And I wonder if perhaps The, the ramp here that leads up and frames the view to the Capitol, if that couldn't have been actually much larger, much wider, when, when I saw the uh, model come apart and realized sort of how narrow it is compared to the whole scheme, I thought, well, maybe that actually becomes closer to half the size of the site, and there's an important um, set of spaces underneath that, so that there is a building presence at the corner, um, and it, it has a more significant presence in terms of the overall one of the factors that affected uh, the, what you call the RAM is the fact that it's completely ADA um, um, accessible. So that was something that limit, limit us in a, in a way in terms of designing. I, I didn't mean the slope of the RAM, I meant the width of the plane, so that it becomes a bigger figure at the corner of the land. Um, I begin my commentary by uh, saying that by nature I tend to be quite a critical uh, critic, so as you may have noticed. Um, and therefore, um, uh, when I, I, I think it's a brilliant scheme, and so I'm, I'm, I'm reflecting upon that just because um, I've, I've done a lot of, uh, seen a lot of student work over the years, and this is this is really really good. Um, I think uh, the a couple of points that I want to point uh, uh, recognize is one. I think the sequence of movement that you have demonstrated is logical, clear, powerful, and significant to the scheme. And the idea of punctuating these points along the path with a, a, a inverted kind of dome-like space, very Thank you. 